telegrams and so on and so forth. Where we want to streamline the way govern, government interacts even with entrepreneurs, government interacts with business fraternity, government interacts with citizen. So we are going to transform the way and we believe it will be first of its kind uh, in the nation and we are going to launch it in the next 100 days. As far as IT electronics, this is Vishakhapatnam is going to be our IT hub. We intend to make this the data center capital of the world and AI is like the refinery. So AI will follow and we are going to back it with green energy. So you can see how we are marrying everything together and transform Vishakhapatnam. Uh, saying that new policies are on its way, the IT policy, the GCC policy, uh, the data center policies are, are being crafted and we intend to launch them soon. Parallelly we are we have revived the Economic Development Board. Economic Development Board will be the single port to call for any investor, any financier here uh, into the state of Andhra Pradesh. It's being led by a very young IAS officer, but the entire team under him are IITs, IM grads, and other uh, other youngsters who have come out of Ivy League schools driving the entire initiative. So they will be your single point of contact. So you'll have you don't need to call. You know, me or even this is Janata Nidigar or Bharat, they will be a single port to, port to call. And you will be amazed that Economic Development Board is going to be under the Chief Minister in the General Administration Department because the work there is going to cut across multiple departments. So while I am going and chasing data center investments, they need green power and they want to do parallel investments in that. So I need to chase the Energy Minister. So it's not going to be like that. My economic Development will be the single port to call. Because all the businesses are cutting across uh, ministers and ministries. So we are reviving that and it will be, and we intend to deliver on the speed of doing business promise. And as Bharat said, um, a lot of work is going to be done in Vishakhapatnam. We are really committed to this amazing city. It's unfortunate in the last five years we slipped a position in terms of economic activity. We were the ninth largest economic city and we slipped one position, we came to tenth. One thing that Bharat didn't tell all of you because he knows I'll hold him accountable to it is our vision to transform Vizag to the fifth largest economic city in India. So Rajivar has a lot of catching up to do clearly. So in terms of traffic also, you know, we have to aim not to be number 10 but number 5. And I think a lot of work needs to be done. As you rightly said, uh, you know, with Air India, now being privatized and of course being under the leadership of the Tata group and I think close to 250 flights have been ordered. Uh, under the leadership of Chandra sir, there's a lot of excitement into Bogapuram and what work they want to do. In fact, I think it was two days ago that we had a Zoom call where we discussed about you know Bogapuram, MRO and of course my intention was about your um, the cricket stadium here, the marina here. So we had a very long discussion on the way forward and uh, you know we don't look at Bogapuram purely as an airport as Bharata said MRO and look at the region's largest MRO and beyond MRO we are discussing about why all the uh, equipment required in an airport cannot be manufactured in Bogapuram. So that's the kind of vision with which we want to work with the GMR group and really um, transform and create jobs as a region. Now, all of you know it's been just over 100 days since the new government here formed in Andhra Pradesh. And our first promise out of the six promises we made to the public is to create 20 lakh jobs. So the single agenda with which your government is going to work is on creating jobs. So who creates more number of jobs will get a, a greater red carpet possible. It's not just about the rupee value of investment. Or else we really want to attract you know, job creating companies. So I would request all of you to look at Andhra Pradesh from that perspective. So I'd like to thank all of you for coming all the way to Vishakhapatnam, being part of this summit. I know there's some exciting topics coming ahead and I did take a look at it. That clean energy is one big topic and that's something that's going to be very close to our heart. And we're going to work in terms of delivering that. So thank you very much for coming here. Thank you for having me and I look forward to having all of you and being part of the journey of Vikasit Andhra Pradesh.